Good evening. I just really wanted to share how I make my pub pea pie. It's really, really easy, really cheap, really delicious, um, and really filling. It's perfect for winter, especially if you're on a student budget. And it's somewhat healthy. It could be healthier, but it's become quite a classic and is often requested by my boyfriend to make for him. So I'm just going to show you how simple it is. So this is the dish that I'll be using. Just make sure that it's an oven proof dish. Set a fan forced oven to about 200 degrees for it to preheat. So I've just got some Western Star salted butter here. Always salted, never unsalted. And I'm going to put quite a large knob, as Jamie Oliver would say, into the frying pan. And I'll just wait for that to, to melt. So now that the pan is hot and the, melt, the butter is melted, I'm just going to add these Australian peas. They're about $2 for 500 grams. And I've used the oven proof dish to measure how many peas that I'll need. And I'll just add that to the butter. So what I love about this pie, or the inspiration behind the pie, was that I love roast dinner. I love the flavours. So what I did with this pie is, is I thought, okay, what's really cheap and what's quick? And uh, what's going to remind you of the roast but not have meat in it? Not that I'm a vegetarian, I just don't always need me. So this pie really gives you that roast dinner feel, especially because of the secret ingredient, which is mint sauce. I put mint sauce in the peas with butter and salt and with the pastry all cooked up in the oven, I just feel like I'm having a roast dinner. So while the peas are cooking, or defrosting I should say, I'll prepare the bottom sheet of pastry. This is just home brand pastry. It's about $2 for six sheets. Don't knock home brand until you try it. So I've cut a sheet of pastry to fit in the bottom of this dish. I'm not bothered with oiling the bottom. Um, I've done it with oiling and not oiling and it doesn't really make a difference, so it's up to you. Now that the peas have started to defrost, it's a good time to add this mince, mint sauce. You can make your own mint sauce. I haven't perfected it yet, so I'm happy just to buy mint sauce already pre-made. So as you can see, I put quite a lot in there. That's because I liked my pie not to be too dry and all the mint sauce kind of soaks into the pastry at the bottom, which is nice. And then I'll add some sea salt, a good pinch. Now this is optional and please don't judge me for it, but I'm going to add barbecue sauce, original barbecue sauce into the peas. I love it, I love barbecue. As you can see, the peas are quite saucy, but that's really not an issue because this sauce is almost like a gravy now, just to make it that even more roast-like. And you'll know when the peas are done, when they go from a bright green to a more of a brown, yellowy green. The peas are pretty much done now. Most of them have changed colour, but not all of them. But that's okay because they will further cook in the oven. So what I'm going to do is put half of these peas into this dish. So there they are. So this is the first layer. And on top of this, I'll put on another layer of pastry. Then I'll put the remaining peas on top of the second layer. So it's like that. Then I'll put the remaining pastry from the one sheet 
um, on top of the peas. So now I've put the cheese on so that it's covered all the peas and the pastry. This will definitely be enough for two people. Now I'll put it in the oven and for maybe 20 to 30 minutes and it will be done. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes and Parmesan cheese doesn't really melt like other cheeses, but you'll know it's done when you can, when the smell of the pie is wafting through the kitchen. So this is the finished product. Ta-da! And there it is, pub pea pie. And Tom's gonna love coming home to that, I bet. So there you have it, really simple, easy, as I said. Really wholesome, perfect for winter. Um, I hope that you give it a go and let me know how it went. Alright, see you guys.